on the 28 hour SQL Server Masterclass on the Udemy platform from only $15 instead of $89. Learn how to become a future developer or either a future DBA or performance expert on SQL Server with 150 exercises. The link to the promotion is in the video description. Okay? Want to get started on SQL Server? Then join me! The different database recovery model in SQL Server. Okay? There are three recovery modes for a database in SQL. The simple mode, the full mode, and the book login mode, which we will not detail in this course. We are talking about just in full mode and simple mode in this course. Okay? To save a log, it's important to know that the database must be in full recovery mode. It's very important to know this. Simple mode. Simple mode. A modification is sent to SQL Server. The modification is modified in memory, uh, exactly in buffer pool. Modification return to the log file and Later, the checkpoint will re rewrite the dirty data, the dirty page, from the log file to the database and will stream the transaction from the log file. Thus, it's important to know hunting hit. Okay? Is the simple mode. Full mode in absence of backup block. Catastrophic <laughs> scenario. And a modification is sent to SQL Server, like uh, with simple mode, it is the same scenario. The modification is again modified modi in buffer pool. Return to a log file. The log without the backup log. The log will grow, grow, grow indefinitely until the disk is full. Okay? So you can have a serious incident in production if you have a disk full on your server SQL. Okay? Full mode with a backup plug. A modification is sent to SQL Server. It's modified in memory, buffer pool, is written to the log file and a backup log, a backup log sorry is done. This will free up the space. Okay? It's important to know that the backup log will free up the space. Okay? So, no more disk space problem in production. So, the danger of simple mode is that you can't restore log from, from a point in time. It's important to know the danger of simple mode DB that you can't restore log from a point in time. Imagine the following scenario at noon, Michael delete data in production. It's the catastrophe. Michael has delete data. In this case, we will not be able to recover the data. We, we have to restore the database from the last backup full. In this example, it's at 8 am. Okay? In full mode, this is quite possible. We have different log backup during the day, which run every hour. Okay? The data has been delayed at 2 pm, but we can restore the data from the log. Okay. First, we will restore the full backup from 9 a.m. and then the backup log from 10 a.m., 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Everyone is happy. Champagne. Now, let's go to the, to the demo together. In this demo, we will see the different types of recovery model in SQL Server and how to the backup logs empty this log. 
in Management Studio, by the graphical interface, you can change the recovery model on right click with right click on the database properties. Click on option and the recovery model is quite easy to change. Let's make a zoom, full, book, log, and simple. Okay, for the, for the moment, let's leave the full model by default. Okay, let's create a simple database, test log, it's his name. Database has been created. Uh, can we do a simple backup log uh, when we are created a database? Let's make a test, a backup log. Okay, the message in error backup log cannot be performed because there is no current database backup full for your database. Okay, reminder. Always make a backup full before a backup log. Okay, let's make a backup full. It's working, it's perfect. Okay, next, let's look in the database log. The logs are circular files split into several, several virtual log files, VLFs. Okay, statue. Two means that there, there is only one VLF that is used. We will use DBCC log info with the name of a table, like this. Let's make a zoom up. For the moment, there is only one statue as two. For the log file, for the database, test log. Create a simple table and now insert some data, just some simple data. Let's look in the database log. We see that there are now two VLF files in statue 2. Let's make a zoom. Two VLF, one and two, with statue. Okay, let's now make a backup log. And let's look in the database log again. Okay, let's make a zoom. This is the proof that the backup logs pass the statue to zero on the VLF. Okay, and if there is more and more statue two, it will give it will get bigger and bigger until there is no more space in the disk. We see that the first VLF has gone to statue zero and that is had been deleted. Let's put the database in stable mode. Is the syntax by transact SQL set recovery simple? What if I try to a backup, after a backup in simple mode? Let's make a zoom. The statement backup log is not hello world, while the recovery model is simple. You must to put the database in full mode for a backup log. It's important to say. Reminder, if you want to make a backup log, the database must be in full mode. 